Are you ready for pain? Are you ready for suffering? If the answer is yes, then you're ready. I've been a throw up the sex in a Hey Mary, how you doing today? I just wanted to say congratulations on losing 70 pounds. I love that for you. That's fantastic. Keep up the good work. Um, but I also wanted to let you know that you can't tell someone's life based off a of TikTok. So <laughs> while you think that you can tell by the fact that I'm fat, that I don't exercise or I don't eat right, Maybe you should look into a different profession other than an RN or a PA because it feels like you're already a little bit biased in that. But you know what? You'll fit right in with all the other medical field people that think that fat is what's wrong with everybody when there's actual stuff wrong with them. Um, but here you go. I'd just like to say, since you love getting online and harassing fat people, here's a little tidbit for you, a little unsolicited advice. Maybe don't post pictures of your children on a site that you're promoting your own spicy site for. Get that bag, baby. I don't care what you post or what you do with your life. That's fine. But since you want to say stuff about me, um, keep them safe. Don't tag their location. And also promote what you do. Um, that feels a little bit off to me. So maybe worry about that instead of what strangers do with their life. I miss my mom too, right? I lost her about almost 10 years ago now. So my heart goes out to you, but at least my mom didn't raise me to be a bitch to people online. Have a good day. It's something that's better when it's thick instead of thin. A person. We don't trust these people. It happens every single time. Every single time. This is from today. This is from today. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. No. Wasn't fat rep. Was not. Was not ever fat rep. Unapologetic fat actors forever and only till the end of time. This is boring. Can we just normalize saying she looked good instead of she looks good for a big girl? How about we do that? What is up, baddies and daddies? I will forever and always, until my gorgeous corpse was reduced to ash and thrown in Michael B. Jordan's face, will always laugh at any man that tries to insult me for being fat. Firstly, um, I have huge gorgeous tibbies, um, a fat ass, I'm soft and warm all year round, and the extra plumpness in my face is going to keep me looking hot and young for basically ever. Secondly, I am hotter, meaner, and more vicious than any man that's ever tried to come for me. And thirdly, um, L plus ratio, plus I'm hotter than you, plus I could fuck your mom and your dad, plus uh, call me when the hairline grows back. No, no, no. The transphobia in my comment section needs to stop. Yesterday I posted a TikTok responding to this question. What are the red flags you look for in men? And one of them was if he wouldn't date a trans woman. Red flag. And my comment section? You get the idea. I can't put them all because there's too many. Let me break this down. Trans women are women. So if you're heterosexual and you're a man and you said you wouldn't date a trans woman because it's a preference, that's just transphobia, period. The majority of the time, our preferences are rooted in something problematic. It could be trauma. 
racism, transphobia, the list goes on. If you want to find out what your problematic preferences are, click the link in my bio and watch this video. I am now going to take you all through an example. This person asked why it's transphobic to not want to date a trans woman. Already starting off on the wrong foot by referring to cis women as regular women, then said something about trans women not being able to carry children. If that's your sole reason for dating someone, keep that same energy for all the women who are infertile. Ditch this with the stupidest thing a man has ever mansplained to you. I'll go first. One of my old housemates who was probably about 30 now and at the time um, said to me that <laughs> all tampons are called Tampax. Um, that's not just a brand, but all of them are called that. Um, and when I said to him, Charlie, they're not like I. I, I should know, and he was like, I think I know more about this than you, Meg. This <laughs> theory is... So, it takes seven seconds thing. for food to pass from the mouth to the stomach. A human hair can hold three kilograms. The length of the penis is three times longer than the thumb. The femur is hard as concrete. A woman's heart beats faster than a man's. Women blink two times as much as men. We use 300 muscles just to keep our balance when we stand. And a woman has listened to all of this while a man is still looking at his thumb. God has allowed me to wake up fat and hot again today. And I'm just here to make it everybody's problem. Just a reminder that I am very fat and very sexy. And I am 100% glorifying obesity. And there's nothing. If you're fat, stay. If you're a girl, stay. If you're a bae, stay. If you're gay, stay. If you're bi, stay. Everyone else is probably gone by now. Okay. If you follow me on Instagram, I talk a lot about dating in a fat body and using dating apps in a fat body. Um, I just want to show you one of my absolute pet peeves, but before I do, I need to tell you what my bio is. So the top line of my bio says fat, funny, and fab. Need I say more? Three things that I absolutely am and absolutely love being. Okay, now let me show you this message. Now I get messages like this, I would say two or three times a week and it grinds my gears. I certainly don't think you're fat, you look beautiful. I am both, I am fat and beautiful, okay? I don't understand why they think this is a compliment because it's really not. He's yet to reply to me, but um, I shall let you know when he does. Just a reminder, you do not have to be skinny to be pretty. You do not have to be skinny to be pretty. Fuck these societal standards. Fuck everybody making you feel like your body is not good enough. Don't mind me, I'm just taking a super quick mental note for the next time my brain tries to convince me that I can't both be fat and hot. Here is some indisputable proof of how cute I am. So listen, I have kind of an incredible wardrobe and I really want to show it off, but telling you things about your fat body that are helpful is really important to me. So today we're going to do both. You can wear cute dresses and have flabby arms. If your body's at the beach, spoiler alert, you have a beach body. The BMI is a scam that was funded by diet industry lobbyists. Daddy Goldblum loves short shorts. You know that when you go to the doctor and they ask if they can take your weight, you can say no thank you, right? Like, you, you're allowed. Sometimes your mom is wrong. If you think it doesn't exist in your size, you're not looking hard enough. Why would you want to bang somebody who doesn't think you're hot as fuck? You shouldn't have been forced into diet culture when you were in single digit ages. You shouldn't need to justify what you eat and how much you work out to be deserving of basic respect. Okay, so apparently, I didn't think I'd have to make this video, but apparently I do. Telling me I'm not fat, I'm beautiful, is not a compliment to me. I am both. I am fat and I am beautiful. Okay? That, that's all. It's always the videos that we never expect to blow up that actually do blow up. Meanwhile, the ones that we put 15 hours into never go anywhere. Yes! Hi, I'm a fat girl that writes fat girl romances. Please know that I didn't start off this way. I didn't intend on only writing fat romances. I actually planned on writing body diversity, but then I saw that there was a severe lack 
of plus size representation within spicy romances and I said, God damn it, we deserve more than a rom com. We deserve more than being the fat funny friend. God damn it, we're gonna get railed. Anyways, gonna cover him. Um, yes, this is Ariana. This is my first book. Um, gonna cover this even more. Uh, this is Scarlet. This is my second book. There's also a third book called Trapped in Gurry, but I don't have a paperback copy of that yet because it doesn't come out until April. There are paranormal spicy romances. We can't say the other word. Please check my categories on Amazon so that you can further understand what I'm saying. Wolf Shifters, Faded Mates, Plus Size Heroines. Standalones, but I say read in order. Link in bio. Please forgive me your grace. Can even look me in the face. So one of my biggest fat representation in media pet peeves is when fat phobia shows up in a place, time period, or community where it may not actually belong. Bridgerton is a great example of this, a time period where fat was considered beautiful, yet you have a whole storyline about a fat character not being considered beautiful. And then in fantasy series like Dune, Game of Thrones, Star Wars, fat phobia persists even though we can totally believe in fictional creatures and made-up worlds. There was even a fat phobic joke inserted into the new West Side Story movie that was not in the original, and it's a joke about, oh, we don't want to move our kids to America because they'll get fat if they're in America, when this is a Puerto Rican community where, number one, thinness may not have been considered the most beautiful thing in that community, but also at the time, America wasn't even the obesity epidemic place that we think of it as today. This is so unnecessary, and it's punching down. That joke is just there to get cheap laughs because fat people are easy targets.